Hey, welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, tonight's episode features another uh, Ohio craft beer. This here is uh, Rivertown Brewing Company out of uh, Monroe, Ohio. And this here is their uh, Soulless, Scarlet Soulless Sour L. This is clocking in at 5.4% uh, alcohol by volume and 20 IBU. And this is their take on a uh, Flanders uh, style red L. So they're calling this a, a Soulless Sour L. Uh, artwork on that. Uh, scoring on the chart up here. Uh, I give it a solid uh, 3 out of 5 on the artwork. Uh, bottle cap. You got their uh, Rivertown uh, logo there. So uh, side of the bottle says uh, created for the ones willing to indulge in something a little risque. Uh, Rivertown Brewing, where craft, passion, and creativity collide. So uh, we're going to crack this thing open and uh, see what it's all about. I don't really know uh, much about this at all. And this will be the uh, first one that I've actually had from uh, Rivertown. So get a pour on it here. Uh, let's see here. See that bottle okay there color wise um yeah just a red amber color um off white uh just an off white like a light tan head on top of that lots of carbonation bubbles going on there aroma yeah uh, definitely, uh, definitely smells, uh, there's that sourness in the air there. Maybe some cherry, like a sweet cherry berry type of, uh, aroma coming off of this. Maybe a bit of a caramel and a, uh, earthy earthly uh, maltiness on it coming off of it as well so definitely smells like it could be it could be a little tart there so uh, we'll go ahead and get a drink on this quite uh, sour up front In fact, there's a lot of sourness that hits you right there. So, uh, head wore off rather quickly. The, uh, there's almost a cherry, lemon, lemon cherry vibe to it. I'm a little on the fence. The uh, that tartness wears off rather quickly. But the more I drink of it, it's not a real tart or real sour beer. Um, at five five point four percent alcohol, um, it's a lighter mouth fill, mild carbonation. In fact, uh, carbonation is bubbles pretty much have wore out completely on this thing. Yeah, the more I drink of it, I do like that mild, that mild sourness. Wears away quickly. 5.4% uh, alcohol, rather low. You could really knock a couple of these out, I think. Yeah, uh, the more I drink, the more I'm digging this thing. Nice carbonation uh, sizzle in that thing. Yeah, so I think on scoring this thing, um, the more I drink of it, the more I'm actually liking this thing. 
So on the chart here, one, I'll never drink this again. Five, I'll go out of my way to drink it. I think about a 3.75 out of five on this. Um, I don't know if I drink it anytime it's available. I do wish it had a little bit more of the sourness to it. But, um, and maybe more of a, of a fruity, uh, flavor impact right now it's just some light sweet cherryness and um mouthfeel like i said it's light uh, lighter bodied mouthfeel and the like i said the tartness the sourness it just wears away rather quickly so but overall yeah 3.75 out of 5 this is definitely something that you could set and just relax and drink a few of on a hot day, which is probably what I'll do. I got this whole six pack for like uh, five ninety nine on sale, so uh, it's a pretty good deal. So anyhow, that's my thoughts.